Hi, this is Joseph from TheBodyYouWant.com, where we're changing the way fitness is done, and I am here with my lovely assistant, Amanda. Uh, when she started with us, she was a size 12. She is now a solid size 8 with the occasional 6s, and she's on her way to a size 6. And she's going to be helping me show you what are the three things that you need to check out to see if you're qualified to start deadlifting and or doing any kettlebell swings. So, the first up is a toe touch drill, just to see if you can touch your toes. Turn sideways. So with your knees straight, your feet so close they can't get any closer, just bend over, come down to your toes, and try to touch them. When you're down here, take a nice deep breath. Notice how she didn't move, and she went down, She's easy. She, it was easy to do, she didn't grunt. This is good if you like are struggling to get down there, you're bounced, you're popping around, you have to bend your knees. If you breathe when you move, can you I shouldn't, stand? oh yeah, you can oh. stand up. That's longer than we normally have people hold it. So that's what you want to see if you have any of this or bouncing or that. Uh, that is a no go. And you're going to want to go see someone to get that uh, cleared up before you start doing deadlifts or kettlebell swings. Next up, we're going to check her hip mobility with something called the active straight leg raise from the functional movement screen. Amanda, if you would, please lay down flat on your back. And let me stick this under your knees. All right, turn your palms up for me. So you can have your friend help you out. You do not need the functional movement screen kit to do this. Uh, you can simply put uh, a book or a two by four or something underneath the back of uh, your legs. And what you're looking for is you want them to lay down flat on their back. Just have your friend with his palms up, legs are nice and straight, pull your toes up. And you want to be able to see, can you get your entire ankle to cross your other knee joint? So Amanda, Raise this leg up so her entire ankle is across her entire knee. She can hold it there. She's not struggling. If this foot didn't move, that's good. This isn't something you want to do like competitively. Then lower that back down. And now, same thing on the other side. We want to make sure they're even and nothing hurts. Awesome. So this side's clear. That, you don't want at least that. If you can't cross it, that's another thing you want to go get someone to fix that, help you fix that. Next up, Amanda, roll over to your front, please. So now we're just going to check to see if uh, her back is healthy. Can she bend forwards and can she bend backwards? So put your hands uh, under your shoulders, just keep your hips down and bend backwards. I like to see you. The other way. Well, actually, well, yeah, she's going to do both. So does this hurt? No. Is this comfortable? Yes. All right, awesome. Now lay down flat and bend yourself backwards. Is this comfortable? Hmm? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. It feels okay. <laughs> feels okay? Alright, come on down. So that would be like a questionable answer. Basically, there's no and there's not no. It's it hurts or yeah, it's not that good or something like that. So you want both of those things to be good. Uh, for if, if you have pain with either one of those positions, that's a medical issue and you want to make sure that you get those checked out by a good physical therapist, preferably someone SFMA certified. Those are things you got to be able to do before you start with the others.